Welcome. I'm Meredith. This is the Oasis Spiritual Empowerment Tarot. All about tarot, oracle, and empowering you. And I... I've been doing a few videos. Uh, with a few unboxings. So, now we have another Kickstarter. Um, so this... This is really interesting. Let me let me maybe open this first. So the premise or the idea, well, premise um, behind this, there is um, this book. Um, this is book one. Of the other world series and this is called the other worlds and it's by rj kinner um to go with this i'm gonna have some oracle cards each book in this series will have um their own specific set of oracle cards oh, look at this this feels so nice oh ooh. Love this. And it's so pretty. And this feels nice too. Alright, so let me take these out really quickly. And then I'll read the back of the book. Hopefully, it'll give you at least a little description. Um, oh, look at the shell. And then we have this beautiful pen. Let me take it out. So, and this is whoa, by R.J. Kinner Art. There we go. Look how pretty. Um, and so it is uh, rjkinnerart.com for the website. And you can also email R.J. Kinner at rjkinnerart.com Illustrations, novels, design okay. And this Oh wow I collected the enclosed shell or stone in the weeks following my husband's passing they are the last pieces I collected from the Oregon coast. Someday, I'll return to my beloved ocean. Until then, you hold a piece of my home in your hands. Whatever our circumstances, remember that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Trust that everything happens for a reason. You are valued. You are needed. You are loved I mean I, I truly don't even have the words that it's so beautiful and and touching and wonderful I mean not obviously um, I'm so so sorry about their husband um, I love this connection I think that's just wonderful Now, let's take a look at, at the back of the book, and I'll read that while I struggle with this. So, it says, There is something in the barn. When college student Lily Masters is called to pack up her recently deceased great aunt and uncle's family homestead in rural Oregon, um, she discovers something incredible, a portal to another world. As Lily stumbles into the strange and wondrous other worlds, she uncovers a stalwart group of protectors who have guarded the earth for nearly 200 years. Jumpers. But something is wrong. There is a breach in security. Entire teams of jumpers have gone missing and even more disappear every day. 
Shadows creep from the cracks in reality. Nowhere is safe. While discovering abilities of her own, Lily must fight to prevent calamity from befalling the oblivious inhabitants of Earth and restore peace to the other worlds before it is too late. The darkness approaches. It will consume everything in its path. So, again, this is book one. And with this, we have... Oh, I thought I'd be, I thought I'd be able to get them out. Wait. Maybe. Dang it. Sorry. I really felt like I opened it enough to be able to get them out. Um, actually, you know what? Let me do it this way. So, um, I think they're meant to be... I forget. It's either three or five books in total. Um, and, again, the idea is that we will have oracle cards for each book. And at the end of the series, you'll have a complete deck of oracle cards. So, let's take it. This book feels so nice, too. It just feels like it's going to be a nice book to read. <laughs> I'm, I'm very tactile. So, I love these bags. Now, this is a good deal taller than a standard tarot deck. A fair amount wider as well. Um, but, I don't know, they feel, I'm, there's not that many cards, so, um, for me, at this point, I'm not gonna really try to ruffle shuffle, I don't know, well, maybe, I'm not sure if the cards, like, it feels like a, um, doesn't feel like the best card stuff. I'm trying to think of... It feels like maybe just a slightly treated paper, maybe? It almost kind of feels like a, like that poster board, sort of. You know, if you've ever done those art projects, it kind of feels a little bit like that. I, I don't think that's what it is, but it feels, you know, similar. So. We have Peripheral, which... I love this card. Love. Love, love, love. Stars crossing. How beautiful is this? I mean, I just want to bring it in so you can really see the details. The Orienter. The Orienteer. Really interesting. Now, of course, these are these are meant to go with the book. So I think as you read the book, these are gonna make. Um, oh, look at this shift! I love this card. How fascinating that is! Gift shop. Wow. Oh, the collective. It's a little bit creepy. <laughs> Reminds me of the Matrix. But it's interesting. Usurper. And they are numbered as well as having the titles. Retribution. Oh my. Look at this. Wow. Precipice. Really, really beautiful. So we have ten oracle cards. Yeah, I feel like there's there's gonna be I feel like it's gonna be five decks in total. Although again, I could absolutely be wrong. Now for me. It's definitely going to be a stretch to shuffle these like that. Um, but certainly, you could overhand them. Um, as I get more cards, <laughs> more books, 
Um, I definitely think it's going to be easier for me to shuffle. Um, you know, this is certainly one that I plan on continuing to back um, to get each book and to ultimately have that complete oracle. Hopefully I like the book. Um, it sounds really interesting. So I am looking forward to reading it. I don't think there's a guidebook per se for this. You know, there's the book book. Um, but I will double check um, and, and see there could be a PDF or the Kickstarter site might actually go into details about the cards. I just don't remember. Um, but yeah, I love, I love this one so much. So, and even though there are only 10 cards for now, um, I can tell you that personally, I'm going to still use these. I think this is going to be for, for now as you know, because there are only 10, I think this is going to be a deck that I'm going to pull like one card, um, as part of a larger spread. I don't know at what point, you know, but, um, I'm so intrigued by these cards. Um, yeah, so I, I, I definitely am going to be using them. I'm not going to wait until, you know, I have that complete oracle. Um, but I really, I really like these. So they're so interesting. So I think this is a deck that I'm going to keep kind of right by my desk. So that if I just feel... I love this. If I feel like I just want to pull one, um, I can do it very easily. So, let me know what you, oh, sorry, let me know what you think. Is this, is this something that you backed? Um, I have no idea, honestly, if, I know you can definitely get the book. Um, I don't know if the Oracle is going to still be available. It might only have been available with the Kickstarter. Um, I feel like you might, when, when it comes time for the second Kickstarter, maybe the creator will allow you to kind of add on this Oracle. If you missed this first Kickstarter, I don't know though. That's just sort of a guess. Um, you know, that's, that's what I would do <laughs> because otherwise the, the people who missed it the first time for whatever reason, you know, then they'll never get these again. You know, they'll never be able to have that complete Oracle. Um, but, you know, I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you think. Did you get this? Have you read this? Don't give me any spoilers. Um, because I am going to read this. And, I mean, it just, it looks very interesting. Oh, and it's signed. I love that. For Grandma and Grandpa. Okay, so, um, yeah, 100 degrees, I'm melting, so let me know what you think, and until next time, just be wonderful to yourself, be really, really wonderful, because you deserve the best, only the best, all the best, and that is my wish for you.